Hello there and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be reviewing the Pyramids of Mars, um, the Tales of the TARDIS episode. So, let's get into it. So, um, for those of you who don't know, there was a Tales of the TARDIS episode uh, to coincide with the two-part finale of season one being The Legend of Ruby Sunday and the Empire of Death and aired on BBC4 uh, and on BBC iPlayer. Um, like on the Thursday before uh, the Empire of Death, and um, yeah, it's been a bit of uh, it's been a while since I've seen it. Uh, but when the DVD box set came out, I decided to watch it, watch it again, and uh, I was ple pleasantly surprised by it. I think I wasn't a huge fan of it the first time, mainly due to the fact that I didn't know it was going to be like one whole continuous thing. I thought there was going to be like credits and like the opening titles like there is on um like normal doctor so i didn't realize it was a tales of the tardis um because on the tv guide it just said pyramids of mars um and as well i sort of like managed my expectations because it was sort of like built up as like one of the greatest classic who stories but overall i really really liked it um i love the chemistry between tom baker and elizabeth slade and you can really tell that it's um, that they're getting along famously um, and I just love like their dynamic in this story and I haven't seen much of season 13 but um, from what I have seen it, they do look like they're having a great time with each other and they're definitely one of my favourite classic Who companion and Doctor pairings. Um, I love Sutek as a villain. Um, it is a bit of a shame that in The Empire of Death we didn't see him in like the jackal head form thing um, when the mask disappears. Um, it was a shame that we didn't see that. I do quite like that look. I mean, even today it sends sort of like shivers down, down your spine. It sort of looks like really unnerving, uh, if you get what I mean. Um, yeah, it just... It doesn't feel feel right, and when um, I can't remember his name, but the archaeology servant person to, um, had the jackal head. It just looks so wrong seeing a like an animal head on a human body. It, there's something about it. I don't know what it is, but it just looks really really un unnerving about it. And that's what I love about this story. It's sort of like um, like. Give, gives you like sort of a scare but sort of like makes you feel safe because the doctor and sarah are there um also as well um i've got to talk about the new effects for um for this story now i watched the tales of the tardis and then to do this review um i compared it to um I compared it to the original one the dvd release and uh, i don't know how i feel about the um about the new effects some of them were great but i wasn't a big fan of the when um suta gets sucked into the time tunnel i personally never pictured the time tunnel to be the same as the vortex like whenever time tunnels mentioned in doctor Who, i never thought oh that's that vortex i always thought it'd be similar to what um the sutek effects are because i i saw the clip of it before so in terms of like that effect, I'm not that big of a fan of it, but it was nice they did it, and um, they could def you could definitely tell that they um, cleaned up like some of the effects, with some of the original effects, which uh, I th I thought were great, and hopefully this means that um, we're closer to getting that season thirteen box set um, for the collection range, which would be uh, really nice to see. Um, uh, again, love Sutek as a villain. Um, he's really chilling when he's like sitting in on on that throne, and then he has that confrontation with the Doctor. Um, I love that meeting so much. The sort of like dual log of like um, that they have together with, and then he like sort of puts the green light thing, and then Tom Baker just squirms in agony. I thought that scene was 
absolutely amazing and I can cannot count how many times that I have watched rewatched that scene over and over again. It is this story is definitely one of the greats of classic Doctor Who and you can really tell that everybody sort of put their heart and soul into this story. And it's honestly great to see. Um now since it's a Tales of the TARDIS episode we had um sort of two um book ending parts of uh, the story where the Doctor and Ruby were watching it on the little tablet screen thing from the memory TARDIS. Um personally I do I do find it okay that they were watching it. It's nice to include it um in the um in the episode but I've I watched that and then I watched The Empire of Death and there's no like clear bit where they started watching um where they started watching the pyramids of mars i would have loved like a certain section where it starts where it starts to begin and so you could easily just like pause empire of death there and then watch the pyramids of mars and then carry on with empire of death i would have liked that where the two things like overlap where like one bit ends and the other bit starts i would have liked to see that maybe it happens when um the doctor comes back from getting that metal spoon thing um but yeah, overall, um, I think this is a really good um, Tales of the TARDIS episode. I haven't watched the story in full on the DVD, so uh, I definitely think I might do that and then maybe do a comparison in the future. Um, so yeah, just let me know if you'd uh, like to see that. But overall, I think Pyramids of Mars is a really good story. Sutek is a villain is really good, but I think in the... Um, in Legend of Ruby Sunday in the Empire of Death. I don't think he had as much to do. He very much just so felt like there for the sake of it. And um, don't get me wrong, I love seeing him back. I, I love RTD as a writer. Um, I, admire, I admire him so much. But um, I think I would have loved to see him do a little bit more than just sit on the TARDIS. Um, like maybe um, like flown over London. I would have love to see that um given like the spe special effects budget uh being increased i would have loved to have seen that but um yeah overall uh i think um it was a really good story so yeah let me know what you think of this uh story in the comment section down below and let me know what uh stories you'd like to see next be put into the tales of the tardis format let me know in the comment section down below and hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.